Snailfish are great. Snailfish are amazing because they are not a deep sea fish. So they're the deepest fish in the world, but they're not a deep sea fish. They're a, the family is called Leparidae, and they are 300 species at least of, of snailfish. Most of them are very, very shallow. Some of them are even in estuaries. So they're, they're not a, what, what we'd consider a deep sea fish. But they've speciated into every corner of the globe and they've overtaken all the deep sea fish. So these ones, as you see in the video, are 1,000 meters deeper than what you would normally think of as being a deep sea fish. So I love the fact that they're kind of small and goofy and transparent and just not being very deep sea like, yet at the same time, they're way more deep sea than most deep sea fish. Oh, you still get a, good, you still get a real good buzz out of it because the way in which the cameras work is you put them underwater for maybe 10 hours and you, we have no real-time communication. And it's always really satisfying with that moment where you see not just a fish, but even a lot of fish in really good high definition video. You realize you've, you've really nailed it. It's great fun. I don't think there's any way in which we'd find a fish a thousand meters deeper or even 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 maybe a hundred meters deeper. We, we, te we tell people from the very early ages, as young as two or three, that the deep sea is a horrible, scary place that you shouldn't go. Uh, and that and that grows with you with time. And even if you watch the best documentaries in the world, they'll still tell you that the deep sea is this cold, dark, alien place full of monsters. And therefore, we don't appreciate the fact that it is fundamentally most of planet Earth. And the resources should be put into understanding it and trying to work out how we're affecting it and how it works.